Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you doing today? Doing fine, teacher. Okay, good. Welcome to this uh, class. Okay, this is the class number uh, 2021, yes. I'm sorry, so sorry. Ouch. How was uh, yesterday, Rodrigo? Very bad, teacher, without light, without internet. Oh. Here, the, the <laughs> well, here in my house had a storm, so... Uh, without we don't they, we didn't have light internet and comes back uh, came back about in the midnight around mm, okay and i i didn't connect by my phone because here inside these houses the the connection with the mobile is very very bad ah uh, okay i understand Mm -hmm. Yeah, r around five uh, students were missing yesterday, but I understand. Yeah. I understand the situation, right? So, um, there are some places that has been affected by this uh, weather. Yes, but so, actually, yeah, is right here is very very calm. And yes, it if is. you see, if you see the the sky. Yes. It, it didn't have any clouds. Yes. I hope that uh from now on so this the weather right will be will be better than the days before. So according mm. to the information that has been provided, it seems that uh this will be until today. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, we hope that tomorrow is sunny day. Well, tomorrow is so. is a day off for everybody. So, and we don't have classes tomorrow. Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But okay. on Friday, yes, we have. And let me see who oh lady. Lady is having issues, I guess. Let me let me listen to her. Hola teacher. Fíjese que le iba a decir que me voy a quedar como oyente ahorita porque voy para una reunión de una campaña que estamos trabajando en el pro. Valga la redundancia. Okay, she will be as a listener. So Andres is as a listener to Okay, so we're going to start. Uh, uh, well, yesterday we didn't um have the presentation because, as I said, uh, five uh, students uh miss were missing, so we didn't have the complete uh groups. Okay, but today yes, we're going to do it. Uh. It doesn't matter if you, if the group is not complete, so you are you are going to um present what you have so far. So Carlos told me that um he will he will not be able to attend the class today. Okay. Uh, so in this case, Rodrigo, just you and Gilberto are going to participate today. Okay. Huh? Okay. Okay, today we're going to start the unit number four. We are going to start new uh new vocabulary. Well topic it is a new topic for, because now we're going to to speak um uh, know about the product or, or today we're going to speak about risk in your job 
in your workplace, okay? Um, we have here, probably is a new word for some of you. So, hazard is hazard, okay? We're going to describe risk and hazards at my workplace, okay? So, but first we're going to have the presentation to start with this topic, okay? As I promise uh, to have a short video at the beginning of the presentation, at the beginning of the class, right? To just to analyze the video and uh, have your uh, comprehension. Okay, I'm going to present this. I'm going to send this link to you. What's the difference? In order we can see the difference between risk and hazard. Okay, let me send a link to the chat. Sorry that I, I didn't seek. So uh, there you have the link in the chat. In Zoom chat, let me send it to WhatsApp group two. So I will give you five minutes. You can reproduce the video twice. And then we're going to discuss uh, what is the difference between them. Okay, from now you have five minutes, okay? We'll be back in five minutes.
According to IFRC, a hazard is a dangerous phenomenon, substance, human activity. Okay, ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, ready. okay. Volunteers to explain what is the difference okay, between hazard and risk? Uh -huh. Difference between the two uh, meaning. Uh, well, uh, some types of products, uh, ma uh, machines, and any other things that in the in the in the media we manage are uh, are potentially hazard, a hazard but uh, if you manage uh, them with care and i don't know with the protection i think uh, the hazard doesn't uh, converts to a risk the risk is the possibility to ha uh, to make it harm or occur an accident yeah. in any other words okay very good yes that is true right so there are different scenarios uh in all the workplaces right that that are hazards but it depends on the way how employees handle uh, that it could be a machine as you said or uh even it could be the areas where you walk, right, in your job. So it depends on you if you um make in the it way you manage risk. Oh, uh -huh. In the way you manage, correct. Okay. Hi lady. Hi, teacher. I will add that size the danger can be and depends on the use can become risk. Okay, yes, that is true. It depends how you handled or how you used uh, the materials, right? The job materials, it can be a risk. Okay, very good. Good job. Good job. Um, Another opinion? Someone else? No? 
Well, thank you so much, um, the ones that participated, okay? So, we are going to continue with the presentations. So now we're going to uh, have the presentations. Um, okay, I have the groups here. Let me see who is ready. Gilberto and Rodrigo. Uh, then Gabriela and Maria Leticia and Lady. Lady is here. Is Maria Leticia and Gabby? No? Yes, Maria Leticia is here. Uh, and Gabby, Gabriela, yes, is here too. Okay, then we have Daniela, Sofia, and Katy. Daniela, Sofia, is Sofia here? No. Just Daniela. Okay. Then we have uh, Julio, Nancy, and Cindy. Yes, all of them are here. And we have Jose Andres, Mauricio Bruca, and Rolando. Uh, but the, that group will be the last one because uh, Jose Andres is still in the way to his house. Okay. So let me know when you are ready, if I have volunteers. Uh, teacher, so only to understand. Uh, yesterday, uh, the the people doesn't present. No. Uh, the ultimate work, right? No, they didn't. Ah, I okay. at the end of the class, just I gave them around twenty minutes to continue working to oh, okay. complete uh what they have uh because some of them um were still working in the last uh steps. I don't know, Rodrigo, in your case, if you need extra time to to complete your presentation. No, because no. Uh, Mr. Gilberto sent me another part and we we have worked the last time. Okay. Uh, we have some advance. So, uh, Mr. Gilberto, you are there? Are you there? Yes, Don Rodrigo. Let me know if we expose the the work or do you want some time? Okay, if you are ready, uh I know that you are, okay? So don't worry. So you you can present what you have so far. I'm going to stop sharing and you can share your presentation, okay? Okay. Well, okay. Mr. Gilberto. Let's let's go. Okay, Don Carlo, Don Rodrigo. Hey, let me think. Let me check. Okay. Let, please let me know if you see what I see. Yes, I, we can see your presentation. Okay. Well, uh, we are going to continue with the presentation of our, of a new product. In this case, uh, we we change the cashew seed to to pantry. Now we're going to make pantries. So um, let me check. I think the last time we we talk uh, we talked about a uh, uh, well the basic production process, but in order to to give you a feedback we are going to expose the past. In this case, uh, well, the new product is a pantry. We're going to make pantries. Uh, the basic production to process it uh, is to create pantry plants. In this case, uh, we need to, to, to do a design of the pantries that we're going to make. Uh, after that, uh, when we have defined all the measurements of the pieces of the pantries, uh, go ahead and count the, of, we have to confirm and count of the suppliers of the materials that we're going to use to in order to make a pantry. Uh, also, 
we need to have defined the order to manufacture the, the in this case this this type of furniture uh, preparation uh, this is a process preparation cutting as assembly i think and the finishing uh, mr gilberto uh, can you continue this okay lisa benefit or a prototype the people can see I have a better idea of the pantry, the glide. Can per se and check the quality in the furniture by appreciating the prototype. You can add or remove fit victory with a small sample in the who in play wood. Can evaluate color and durability customer can now an approximate pantry cost. Okay. Uh, in order, uh, well, before we make a prototype or make a uh -huh, prototype, or in this case, much more than a prototype of pantry, uh, you you can you can produce or you can make a showroom where it's a place where the you present uh, some type of furniture to have an idea uh, the look uh, of the furniture in your house but uh, in this case uh, the ma machinery list to produce uh, in this case a prototypes are uh, you need a desk a desk so a drills routers sander mallet, a uh, chisel, or in Spanish, uh, the the carpenters, the knowledge, uh, knows it uh, for mm -hmm. a screwdriver, and a square. The square is the, the squadra mm -hmm. to, 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 to make your medicines. And, uh, measurements. And Mr. Gilberto, please continue. Oh. A method for manufacturing, ensemble, and crow. Screw. Have screw. Or, screw. Have a definite order to manufacturing the furniture, furniture preparation, cutting, ensemble, and finishing. Number one, cook the wood cook according to measurements. Number two, Ensemble furniture in test door and driver. In number three, police paint and put banner in hundreds. Police. Yes. Uh, and in this, we finish uh, this this process in order to make and, and the products you need to make the prototype or a showroom to look the pantry. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, Gilberto, I have uh, some words that we need to improve pronunciation, okay, in general, but uh, so in this case, uh, perceive, okay, perceive, okay, durability, durability, furniture, furniture. Furniture. Mm -hmm. Furniture. Measurement. Measurement. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Oh, I got the allergy. Thank you so much. Um. Well, that is everything that I that I um. That I found, and then everything is okay. Thank you so much for your presentation, both of you. Thank you, teacher. Thank okay. you, teacher. Uh, okay, good. Lady, your team, what is uh, Maria Leticia and Gabriela? Yes, teacher. <clears throat> yes. Okay, when you are ready, you can... You can share your screen. Okay. 
Ok, eh, para tu producción. Uh, basic production process to start massive manufacturer, manufacturing of the prototype, design and develop, development. The first step in the manufacturing process of herring eyes is design and development at this stage. Research, research is carried out and product specification are defined. Engineers and designers work together to, to create a design that meets technical and aesthetic requirement, requirement. Component procurement. Once the design has been final, finalized, the necessary component for the manufacture of the hearing I are pro procured. This component include the transducer, electronic circuit, batteries, housing, and other items necessary for the operation of the device. <clears throat> <clears throat> Assembling the component. Once called the components have been acquired, they are assembled. The assembly process can vary depending on the type of, re of hearing I brain manufactured, but it's usually involves soldering the electronic circuit, placing the thread transducer in the case and connecting the corresponding wires. Quality testing. Once the, the hearing I have been assembled, they under extensive quality testing to ensure proper operation. The steps include Checking sound quality, battery life, and resistance to harsh environment conditions. Packaging and distribution. Once the hearing I have passed the quality test, they are packaged and distributed. The hearing I are placed in individual boxes along with the necessary accessories, such as a strong cases and a spare battery. Then they are shipped to distribute distributors and relayers for sale to the public. Continua Gabriela o oh Lady Continue. Okay. <coughs> These odd materials the product requires. Hairy knives are electronic device that allows use to hear sounds individuality for its manufacture. The use of varying raw materials is required, which are essential, essential to guarantee its functionality and durability. Below are the main raw materials used in the manufacture of herring eyes. Brighten circuit boards. Brighten circuit, circuit boards also known as PCDs, are responsible for the connection 
between the different electronic components of hearing aids. These are made of materials such as fiberglass and copper and contain a series of conductive tracks and wells to ensure the proper functioning of the device. Battery. In the case of wireless earbuds, the battery is a critical component. This can be made of materials such as lithium or nickel, metal, hydride, and its capacity will determine, determine the autonomy of the device. Microphone. Some hearing aids have built in microphones which allow you to make phone calls or record sounds. These microphones are composed or of a vibrating membrane and a cord that converts sound waves into electrical signals. Housing. The housing of hearing aids can be made of plastic, metal, or a combination of both materials. This component provides protection and a structure of the device. Speakers, as announced as transducers, are responsible for converting the electrical signal into audible sound. These are composed of a magnet, a coil, and a vibrating cone. Cables. Cables are essential for the transmission of the electrical signal from the playback device to the speakers. These are usually coated with materials such as plastic or rubber to provide protection and flexibility. Earpods. Earpods also known as earpods are the components that are placed over the ear or in the ear canal. These are made of soft and comfortable materials such as poly polyurethane, foam or synthetic leather to ensure the user comfort. List of machinery needed to make hearing aids. The manufacture of hearing aids requires specialized machinery to ensure quality and precision in the production process. The following are the main machines used in the process. Injection molding ma machine. This machine is responsible for manufacturing the plastic housings of hearing aids. Use a mold to inject the molten plastic and shape the casing. Assemble machine. Once the housings are ready, assemble machines are used to attach all the, uh, all the parts of the hearing aid. These machines are programmable and can perform and can perform different tasks, such as soldering electronic components, placing microphones and speakers, among others. Uh, now, Gabriela. Gabriela is listener. Oh, okay, me. <laughs> 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 Testing and calibration machine. Once assembled, the hearing eyes go through a testing and calibration machine to ensure proper operation. This machine performs some tests, adjusts amplification, and various biographies that all component are in going condition condition packing machine finally the hearing eye are packaged 
making a packing machine, this machine can wrap the hidden eye is plastic bag, attach labels, and prepare them for distribution. <clears throat> List the method of the product of the production. The manufacturing process of hearing I consist of several stages. First, a design and prototyping of the product is carried, carried out. Then the appropriate materials are select are select and the production of the different part of the hearing eye beijing. All parts are the assemble and throws quality control is carried out. Finally, the finished product is packaged and shipped. Uh, Variety vari of technology are used in the manufacturing process of hearing eyes. This includes 3D printing for prototyping, precision machinery for manufacturing the different parts of the hearing height, and automat automations in assemble the improved product efficiency and quality. This part is Esta misma. <laughs> the, the time required to manufacture a pile of hearing aid can vary depending on the type and complexity of the model in general. The manufacturing process can take anywhere from a few days to several weeks. Considering all the stage involved in design, production, quality control, and packaging. Lady finish. The quality of hearing aids is ensured by a strict quality control at all stages of the manufacturing process. Extensive testing and verification is performed on each of the parts and components of the hearing aids, as well as on the final product. In addition, industry-specific standards and regulations are followed to ensure that the hearing aids meet the spirit, quality, and performance requirements. Thank you so much. Expected. Here, expected quality. Expected quality. Uh -huh. Expected quality. Yes. Okay, lady. Uh, very good job, both of you. Thank you so much. I can see that. Uh, so you take your time to read uh, the information. Yes, it can be understood. So just, um, I have a couple of observations for you, lady, for example individually okay the term mean is not the term mine it is the term mean mm. okay the term. yes composed composed waves 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 okay expected expected that is the, the last one that that we that you said okay and there is another one let me see programmable that one programmable programmable yes okay thank you teacher you're welcome for you maria leticia um we have a production production product production production, Produ production. Okay. production. requirement 
requirement. Procurement. Procurement. Uh, variety. Variety. Verify. Verify. Prepare. Pre prepare. First. 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 Appropriate. 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 Okay. Uh, please make sure that uh, you double check that pronunciation and packaging. 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 This teacher hearing. Hearing. Yes. Hearing. Okay. Okay. Very good job. Thank you so much. A lot of information so about that product. Okay, good. Thank you so much, Lady and Maria Leticia. Okay, now uh, group number three, we have um, Brice, Kathy, Daniela, and Sophia. I don't know if uh, someone is here from that group. Sophia, do you have a presentation? Daniela told me that uh, she's no, uh, she doesn't have time today to present. So if you have the presentation, Sophia, are you there? Okay. So in that case, we're going to have it on Friday because tomorrow, nobody, uh, well, we are going to, we don't have classes tomorrow. Okay, next group, uh, Julio, Nancy, and Cindy, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, you can go ahead, you are uh, ready? Okay. Okay. And hey, good evening. Good evening. Okay. Uh, we talked about the the role of production the chicha venezolana. Okay. Uh, let me see. Okay. Production process of chicha venezolana. Uh, this is a little uh, introduction. Uh, this presentation provides an overview of the production process of chicha venezolana a traditional Venezuelan beverage. Uh, Chicha Venezolana is a popular traditional Venezuelan beverage. Uh, this presentation outlines the production process of Chicha Venezolana. Uh, let's dive into the things involved in making this delicious beverage. Um, next, uh, my partner, uh, my partner. Yes, I. <laughs> okay. The step one is ingredients and equipment preparation. Uh, gather all ingredients and equipment. Number two is ensure cleanliness and sanitation in the production area. And equipment next. Uh, the step number two, rice preparation. And number one is rinse 20 cups of rice under cold water until clear. Uh, the number two is in a large pot, bring 40 liters of water to a boil. And the number three is add the rinse rice to boiling water, cook until tender, stirring occasionally to prevent sticking. 
The next. Step number three is a flavor infusion. Uh, the number one is simmer to allow flavor to infuse. Timing varies based on the desired flavor intensity. Number two is add four cinnamon sticks and a 800 close to the pot. Uh, number three is optionally add 40 teaspoon of vanilla extract for flavor. And step number four is sweetening and cooling. I love, number one is I love the mixture to cool to room temperature. And the number two is add 20 cups of sugar to the pot is, and stir until dissolve. And now Nancy is continuing. No, Julio, perdón. Julio? Julio, it's your turn. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, stick number five, strain it and storage. Uh, in that state, we need to strain the mixture uh, to remove the solid ingredient. Uh, we need to transfer the liquid shisha into suitable container for storage. Uh, stick number six the packaging uh, we need to ensure packaging materials are clean and, and sanitized uh, it's applicable package chicha venezolana in bottles jars or or containers uh, stick, uh, seven quality control um conduct test uh, conduct Test uh, test and quality checks to ensure uh, chicha mix taste and aroma expectation. Uh, stick uh, number eight labeling and branding. Let me see. Ah, uh, and branding. Uh, we need to ensure compliance uh, with labeling regulations. Um, uh, about the lately the labeling regulation. Uh, in this case is. Um, because it's a um, tool um, the Ministry of Salud uh, put um, regulations for uh, this labeling when, uh, where uh, we need to identify uh, the product, the content of the product. Uh, label containers with product information, including uh, Ingredients, expiration days, and branding. And uh, number nine, stick number nine is for Nancy. Well, I continue with the step nine, the storage. With the storage, the package chicha venezolana in a clean, cool, dry place or under re refrigeration to maintain freshness. Next. In the step 10, distribution and sales. In the number one, determine pricing based on production cost and market research. In number two, implement distribution strategy, direct sales, retailers, and online sales. Next. In the step 11, marketing and prom promotion. In the number one, create marketing materials highlighting product uniqueness. In the number two, promote Chicha Venezolana through marketing channels, for example, social media and local events. Next. And in the step A, Continuous improve, improvement and the number one, adapt to market trends and preference. In the number two, mon monitor the production process, guide customer feedback for improvements. 
And that's all for our presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, very good job. Okay, Julio, we're going to start with you. Labeling. Labeling, okay. Labeling, okay. Yes. Thank Applicable. You. Mm -hmm. Applicable. It's not for me? Oh, yeah. Yes, for you. That is one word that it is applicable. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And uh, yes, you, you say it in a different way. And suitable. Okay. <clears throat> suitable. That is another word. Okay. Thank you. So, yes. Nancy determined. Remember, that will be determined. Okay. Not determined. Determined. Yeah, determined. Okay. Distribution. Distribution. So. Distribution. Yes. Okay. And there is another word. Nancy was the first the first one, right? No, the no. last one. Cindy. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Cindy was the first one. Yes. Cindy for you, just cleanliness. Cleanliness. Repeat, please. Cleanliness. Cleanliness. Cle there is one that is uh, like uh, it has cleanliness, okay? But it's cleanliness. 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 Okay. Yes. Cleanliness. Okay, it is the state of being clean, right? Yes. Or uh, keep everything clean. Okay, very good. Good job. Thank you so much. Okay, I like uh, your presentation. All your presentations are good. Okay, uh, let me see if Jose Andres, Mauricio, and Rolando are ready. I hit the chair. <laughs> okay, so you can present now when you are ready, okay? Yes, just the presentation has um, Rolando. He has the presentation. Are you there, Rolando? Yeah, give me one moment. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. And we are with um, Roberto, but I don't know if he is just like a listener. Roberto? This is a listener today. We are with Mauricio, but yesterday Hello. we are Roberto. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Roberto, are you available? Yes. I ready. Oh, okay, good. <clears throat> okay, you can start now. Okay, teacher. So the first, uh, listen, Rolando put the, the, the title, El Tulo. Good. La otra sería la primera este, positiva. Ron. Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, everyone. No, sorry. Good night, everyone. We are going to present our product. That the name is Kitchen Cabinets. So there is a furniture that you can that everyone can use in in the kitchen of everyone. So we have like the characteristic of our product. That the first we have the, the list of features of our product, place where you can keep kitchen utensils, different colors and designs of cabinets. Easy to carry it when installed for any place. The composition of materials for create this product are ecological. And the duration of the product is about 10 years. You can change the, yeah. 
No, the other one, um, um, Roland, please. La que tiene este, la, la manzana, se dice. <laughs> yes, thank you. Well, we select, well, in our production process of manufacturing, we have five steps for the process where we can manufacture in this product. So first, we have to identify the value. We have to identify what is the cost um, that we are going to spend in this project or in this product. Second, collect, that, collect data. That is the meaning is like how to know, we have to test the public or the customers, or we can know how it's going to be the impact. Then when we test in the, the, the customers, we have the step three, that is process data. We have to process the information that we, that we record. <clears throat> For a step, analyze that, we have to analyze the information that we recover uh, from the customers. And the last part, that is step five, improve production. So when we have all the information that we recover in different steps, we can improve the, the production or we can improve the product. So right now my classmate Rolando is going to talk about the materials, about, you know, about the, the product. The materials, okay. the material, no, no, the, la otra, esta en este, este. Solo, esa es la máquina. No, sería la anterior. It's a benefit. Oh, the material is production. Yeah, the um, material, and then you can say the... Uh -huh, the melamina the... is a kind of, of wall, a screw, uh, and, and I'm sure. Um, the benefits of, of, of building of, of prototypes. One uh, comforts, two easy, two and stall extension, uh, three long. Duration and your uh, kitchen will look uh, very beautiful. Uh, the price is very economical. Mm -hmm. uh, the machine for a, a manufacturing. Mm -hmm. A screwdriver, ha ha hammers, drills, uh, some papers, electric drill. So um, the leaf, the leaf of metal for a production. Rolando, Sandy. can I help you? Excuse? Can I help you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the following share is a list of methods for production. Number one is sanding wood. Uh, number two is painting wood. Then dating the, the pieces with electric drill. And the following is screw the pieces and set up in the room. 
and pack pack the pieces. The the list of the methods production is very important because you you know about about the step how how install the 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 cabinets um, because sometimes the the company only only packaging the material and the customer and assemble in in the house for that reason it's very important uh make a list uh, what is the information about the cabinet for that reason the the list of methods of production is very important can you share the following image Rolando? Okay, um, this information is an essential task. This is very important um, for for make the the cabinets. Uh, the essential task is get the raw get the the raw material. Um, in the in the step uh above the the main cabinet, the essential task is get the raw material because the other the other tools uh, is very important but the, the the most important is the get the raw material in the market because sometimes is is very expensive and other time is very cheaper this is participation can you continue andrecito Yes, that is the all or the presentation. Okay, good, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, <clears throat> be careful with the spelling. Okay, I was reading. Uh, there are some words that um, has a uh, miss uh, spelling there, so be careful with that. Um, okay, Andres. So. In this case, remember that the, the, when we have a word that has the letter U at the beginning, la U, right? So so we don't say like, like U, so we say it like U, okay? So in this mm -hmm. case, utensil. Utensil. Utensil, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Utensil. Yes, value value yeah that is other one value okay. value okay yes another example it is another example you didn't mention that but that is just an example with le with the letter uh you at the big at the beginning for example university you don't say university you said university okay university yeah yes teacher. okay very good Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, for you, Rolando. Wood. Wood. Okay, wood. What? Okay. Wood. Suena como U, no what? como O. What? Wood. Wood. What? Okay. Okay. Very good. And Robert, task. 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 task, yes, task. task. Okay, thanks, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, very good job. Thank you so much for your participation. So you have been working a lot, I know. Okay, was well, good, good. Okay, well, let me continue. Let me uh continue sharing my presentation. <clears throat> who are here, just one group will be pending, okay? What is Daniela, Sofia, and Katy? That will be for Friday. Are you there? Yeah, but just me. Daniela just Sofia. Yes. And what about Kathy? Kathy want... is not is not him. Mm, it's not no. No. It's not available. And Daniela is a listener. If you have the presentation, so you can present it. It's okay. Okay.
you are sorry. Oh, let me stop sharing my, I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, good. Okay. Mm, our presentation is about the strawberry lemonade. So I'm going to share the description. It is a fresh drink made from fresh fruit. It is a natural drink without preservatives. The drink contains vitamin C and E, provide benefit for the healthy skin, accessible price, and easy preparation. The ingredient and material is uh, strawberries, water, ice, lemon, sugar, peppermint, plastic deposit, and a straw. Uh, about the benefits, Uh, customers accept uh, to identify improvement that can be made to the drink. Select potential suppliers. Determine the right amount of ingredients and promote the health benefit and of the drinks. The basic production process. Uh, prepare a budget. Find a place to make the product. Purchase materials, ensure stuff. And the about the necessary machine, only blender, refrigerator, spoon, and forks, and deposit ink. About the process, the step by step of production. The first step was the fruits, and the second step is quite the lemons. The first step is go to strawberries. And the next one is add a glass of water to the blender. And the five is add the already cooked fruit. Add sugar before. Blend all the ingredients. And the next is add ice and syrup. Basically, is our presentation. Thank you so much. Okay. So let me give you uh, some words that I observe that you need to improve. Okay, pronunciation. So when you mention ingredients and materials is, you said, so are mm -hmm. in this case, because you're, to you're talking uh, plural. plural. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Okay, another bird that I was uh, um, explaining at the beginning how to pronounce is determine, not determine, determine, okay? Determine. Determine, yes. yes. Basic, no basic, basic. Basic. Yes, okay. Prepare. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. machinery. Machinery. Mm -hmm. Squeeze. Squeezed is another bird. Okay. Squeeze. Squeezed. Squeezed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Basically. Basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. Basically. I got okay. it. Okay. Very good. Well, thank you so much. That was good was really good presentation too okay so we're going to continue okay we were speaking at the beginning i i introduced these terms right what is the difference between hazard and risk in your job? Uh, we're going to speak about that. Okay, have you ever heard the term risk assessment? What do you think it means? Why should organizations design and be trained to apply one? Uh -huh. Any opinion?
Any opinion about that? Me, teacher. Yes. Hazard is about the condition from the some materials. And you have some classification about that. Mm -hmm. And the risk is a condition that you take in some situation. Okay. Yes, that is the difference between the uh, hazard and risk. But in this case, uh, am I am I sharing my screen? Yes. Yes, right. Okay, yes. I'm asking the question that is here in the screen that says, have you ever heard the term risk assessment? Someone? Jose Andres, yes? Yes, teacher. In, or in my case, our company makes some um, evaluation when we bring security to some place, for mm -hmm. one place, with the, the customer um, needs that we send them and like a, um, yeah, a inform me. Um, Report? Yeah, yeah, yes. We the, the, the customers um, <clears throat> to, uh, tell us that always when we bring a security, um, bring security in one place, mm -hmm. we need to bring a report from the rich assistants. <clears throat> that is like um, in, in, my, in my case, in my company, it's about the uh, some places that need, uh, for example, cameras, or some places that need to um, be careful because there is a dangerous place. So, or more security in this place. But if we talk about from, the, for example, uh, another kind of companies, I, I, I think that is in the meaning like uh, some companies has a secure point. For example, when it, um, an earthquake, mm -hmm. they have some method or evaluation in this case from is something happening in the company. Okay. For example, yes. For example, yes, you can continue. Yeah, yes, for example, an earthquake or a fire in the company is like that. I think that teacher, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, good. Good opinion. Thank you so much. Do you have like an organization in your job that are trained to guide all the employees to apply uh, one of these risk assessments? I guess yes, in every... Yes, yes right? Yes, yes. Okay. In my case, in my company, um, the, we, we prepare or we teach from the security guards that we have in our company or they can say if something happened. Okay. They make the, they make the instruction. Very good, yes. Uh, I guess in every single uh, company, we have these organizations, right? So they are in charge to guide all the employees to uh, do the appropriate, in this case, assessments, risk assessments. Okay, good. So we're going to continue. We have here a conversation that is related to two managers are discussing about risk and has and hazards at different locations in their company. We're going to read the conversations. It is between Marcos and Jose. I need volunteers, two volunteers. Thank you so much, Carlos, uh, Roberto Carlos and Sofia. Okay, Roberto Carlos, you will be Marcos, and Sofia will be Josue. You're the first one. Okay, teacher. Let me check if the list of hazard and safety measure is complete. Measure for electric shock, for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft for the office safety plan yet? 
Already, Marcos. Now I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then I work on establish the incident prob probability, the potential survey, risk value and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything real ready by the end on the whip of the whip. Week. Week. Thank you so much. Okay. Probabilities. 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 Yes. Okay. Good job. Thank you so much. Okay, now Lady Rodrigo. Okay. Let me yeah. share. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. Rodrigo, you will be the first one and the lady. Yes, go ah. ahead. Oh, okay. Well. Uh, let me check if the list of hazards and safety measures is complete. Measures for electric shocks, for electric burn. Yeah, it is. Have you finished the first draft of for the office safety plan yet? Already, Marcos. Now I will work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Great. I'll work on some ideas on controlling risks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right. Then work on establishment the incident probabilities, the potential, the potential severity, risk value, and risk risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Measure. This one, Rodrigo. Measures. Measures. Mm -hmm. Measures for electronic shocks. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Uh, now, Maria Leticia and Gilberto. So, Maria Leticia, you are first, and then Gilberto. Okay. Let me check in the list of hazard and safety measure is complete. Measure for electric shock for electric burn. Yeah, it is have you finish the first start for the office safety plan yet. All right, Marco. Already, Marco. Now I work in the plan for reporting hazard in incidents. Right, it work on some idea or controlling freaks because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I work establishing the incident probabilities, the questions potential severity, risk values, and risk levels. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready be the end of the week. Ready by the end of the week. Ready by the end of the week. Okay, thank you so much. Hazard. Okay, repeat that, uh, Rilberto and Maria Leticia. Hazards. Hazard. Hazards. Hazards. Reporting hazards. Hazards, yes. Hazard. Okay. Maria Leticia, ideas. Ideas. On okay. some ideas of controlling. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Then the other word that we have. Reporting. Reporting. Yeah, that is good. Report. That okay. is good. Severity. 
Okay, severity. 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 You can say it with T or with R. Severity or severity. It's okay. 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 Excellent job. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay, good. Do you have questions about vocabulary in this um um conversation? No, right. So there is no new vocabulary. Do you know what is a draft? Mm -hmm. Do you know what is a draft? Yes or not? If you don't answer, it's because you don't know. <laughs> Someone that knows, tell me. A uh, borrador. Yes, it is like a borrador. Okay, when you create, when you write a report, the first draft or the first version or your report, that is a draft because you are going to uh, improve it later on, right? You're going to improve your ideas or you are going to rewrite the ideas, probably uh, delete some ideas and add more after the, the first draft. Okay, excellent. Good, so we're going to continue. So uh, we have some questions about that conversation. Who has worked on the office safety plan? According to the conversation. Who? Marcus or Josue? Josue. Josue. Or Marcus. Or both of them. Okay, um, well, in this case, Josue is doing the report, but Marcus is giving him some ideas. Okay, who work on the plan to report has hazards and, and incidents? Mm -hmm. Marcus or Josue? Josue, right? I'll work on the plan for reporting hazards and incidents. Okay, that is Josue. Okay, number three. What is the area of the risk assessment process in which the managers haven't progressed much? Uh huh. What is the area? Electrical chart. Okay, electrical chart. And electric bomb. Okay. Okay, in general, right? So, so they are still working on on, the, on it. Uh, to have ideas how to control the risk because they haven't made much progress on that. Okay, very good. So now we have uh, this vocabulary that is about risk, hazards, exposure, safety measure, irreversible damage, and precautionary. So I will give you five minutes to 
thinking the response in the in how what what is the correct meaning of each of them Well, two minutes is enough. Try to think according to what, what you know, and then we're going to work together. Okay, we're going to start now. <clears throat> okay, risk. What is risk according to the, the definitions? Likelihood of hard in specific circumstances. Okay. Very good. That is the one. Thank you so much. Hazards. Potential to be dangerous and <laughs> to cause harm. That is true. Potential to be dan dangerous. Yes. Exposure. Unprotect from something dangerous or unpleasant. Okay, unprotected from something dangerous or unpleasant. Okay, good. Okay, safety measured. Procedure to Procedure. prevent danger from 
happening. Right. Proceeded to prevent something dangerous from happening. Okay, good. Irreversible damage. Consequence or damage Consequence. that is so serious that is impossible to own. Okay, excellent. Okay, and finally we have precautionary. That is number six. Okay, good. Excellent. So we have now the definitions for each of them. So if we if we use these uh, terms in the coming activities, try to use them because uh, the main purpose is to practice. Practice the vocabulary that you learn in each lesson that is new for you, right? To, to have it in your mind or to learn how to use it. That is the main purpose when you learn a new vocabulary. Okay. Good. Questions about this? No questions? Okay. So we're going to continue. Brainstorm examples of workplace as far as related to each of the categories in the chart. Okay, for example, the office, in the office, okay, office as far as in risk, electricity, and fire, and fire as far as hazardous uh, substances, and sleep trips, and fall risk. Okay, so for example, in your office, what kind of machine do you have that we can call it that is an office hazard? Teacher, that in, in this case don't, doesn't apply the windows, but it could be an um, office hazard. Okay, yes, it could be. I mean, an earthquake window. can, yeah, can broke the windows. Uh huh. If that is broken, yes. Okay, good. So please try to add at least uh two or three examples to each chart. Okay, I will give you ten minutes to do that.
Yeah, this is an example of trips. Is when you knock your foot against something and fall or lose your balance. That cause you do this. It could be what cause that you do this. It could be uh material that you have on the floor. Right, that is one example of three. Uh, or it is similar with with um. The other that we have there, that is asleep. It is similar. But just lie without then intending to. Or fall, right? That is similar, okay? Ready? Okay, we're going to start. Let me see. Um, well, let me use the the will of names. Okay, we have first Gilberto, Andres, Julio, Roberto, Rodrigo, Mauricio, Lady, mm. Nancy and Cindy, are you available? Nancy and Cindy, I'm not sure if you are. <clears throat> Maria Leticia, Rolando, <clears throat> Sophie. Y Daniela and Gabriela. So you are as a listener. Okay. So Nancy and Cindy, are you there? No? Okay, so in, uh, we're going to start now with the ones that I have here, okay? <clears throat> okay, Rolando. Are you there, Rolando? Okay, teacher. Give me an example of office authorities. Okay. Uh, the offer hazard is a example break the, the window. Break the window. Uh huh. Uh, the office hazard the roof is a uh, broke. Okay. Oh, uh, the the office has a floor is uh, wet. When the floor is wet. Okay. Yes, that is that is good. Thank you so much. Very good. So let me see who will be next. Thank you, Roland.
OK, Andres. So give me an example of electricity and fire hazards. Factory electrical outlets, teacher. Electrical outlets, OK, very good. And placing flam material near life fixtures. Okay, good. And, and have a, a older machine machinery. Older machinery. Okay. Uh huh. Just, just that. <laughs> Only that. All, all wiring possible. Okay. Extinguisher. Also the extinguisher? Extinguisher, yes. You know what? Extinguisher. The, what is that? El extintor. El ex extinguisher, yeah. Extin mm -hmm. Extinctor. Okay. Good job. Thank you so much. Okay. Gilberto. Okay, we already spoke about that, but I want that you explain it, Gilberto. What is the difference between hazards and risk? Hazard and risk? Mm -hmm. uh, la que tenía teacher es hazard all substances. Okay, tell me that one. Hazardous substances. Uh, verific uh, in the orphic uh, acids, uh, caustic substance, substance uh, disinfectants, and glues. Okay. Chemicals, right? Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Uh, Gilberto. Okay, Sophie. Yes, okay, teacher. Sophie, tell me the difference between hazards and risk. Yeah, hazard is a condition of materials or something. Uh -huh. And the risk is the decision to take in some situation. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. We see who will be next. Rodrigo. Hello. Yes, tell me uh, examples of slips, trips, and false risk. Mm, for example, eh, let me see. When you go up or go down, on the stands very quickly, especially when the woman use high heels. Uh -huh. Okay. Or when you are in your cell phone, right? And in <laughs> and going upstairs or downstairs. Yeah, that is yeah, very dangerous. Indeed. When you uh when you walk and see in your cell phone and doesn't uh, see your steps and Maybe go uh, fall down uh, in a, I don't know, in a hole or, or inside in the stands, the grates. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes, be careful with that. Okay, good, excellent. Okay, very good, excellent examples. Uh, we're going to continue. What else do we have here? 
Uh -huh. We already present the results of your hazard risk and identification process. Um, though they are the are these one, right? So what else do we have? Okay, let me see. We have ten minutes. Um, we're going to work on that material in the platform. Okay, let me see. Um. I'm going to give you these nine minutes that are missing to complete all the um sections that you haven't completed yet. Because Friday, I need to present that. Uh, I need to send this course. Okay, that is course I requested. Uh, I requested every Friday. I need to make sure that you have completed all of them. So let me check here. So far we we have we need to have section one, two and three a hundred percent. Okay. Carlos is now here. Okay, Cindy, very good. You have uh, completed the section three. Uh, Daniela, Lisette, you are missing one session. Okay. Uh, Gilberto, almost done. You, are, you have 96 in the session three. Okay, Jose Andres, you are missing one. Please try to complete it at this moment. Julio Aristides, very good, you have 100%. Katy, please complete all this, this the, the homeworks that we have in, in the section three because we don't have anything so far. So Lady, you are missing two of them. Rodrigo, you are missing one in the section one and three in the section three. Okay, teacher. Okay, please try to complete that. I will do it. Um, yes, I will give you this time to complete then, okay? And then we have uh, Maria Leticia, very good. You are good, 100% in all of them. Mauricio, Mauricio, Buruka, please work on that, okay? Yes. Yeah. And you need to, to complete also the meter and you haven't completed it. Yes. I will do it tomorrow, teacher. Okay. okay. And we have a Nancy. Nancy, please complete the section three. We don't have any of them completed. Then we have Orlando. Very good. You have completed all of them. Roberto Carlos, too. Sofia, we are missing one of each station, okay? And then Yesenia, we are good. Oh, wow, she, she already complete all of them. Okay, good. Then Boris, uh, we don't know anything about him, so he disappeared. And we have another uh, student that disappeared. That was Mauricio Benavides. Okay. Let me present to you the ones that we are going to do at this moment. That is. Let me check here. Let me go, let me go back. Section four. We're going to do the first one for section four. That is the one that belongs to this class related to the vocabulary that we already did. Okay, select the correct one. Sequence of damage that is serious, that is impossible to undo. 
What is that one? In the case, teacher, and consequence of the matter that is so serious, that's impossible to undo, uh, irreversible damage. Irrever irreversible damage. Irreversible damage. 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 Mm -hmm. Aim to yes. protect somewhere, something from a hazardous situation. What is the correct one? Precautionary. Mm -hmm. Precautionary. Okay, very good. Procedure to prevent something dangerous from happening. Mm -hmm. Safety measure. Safety measure. Very good. Like likelihood of harm in a specific circumstances. Risk. Risk. Unprotected from something dangerous or unpleasant. Exposure. Exposure. Okay, there you have them. Good. For the ones that are working in the others, you can take a picture of this one and complete it later. What are you going to do tomorrow? Do you have plans? Yes, Jose Andres, what are you going to do? Uh I have work to do tomorrow. Do you have to work? Yeah. <laughs> but you will be double pay. Yeah, that is a good thing. <laughs> yes. And probably they are going to give you lunch for free. <laughs> no, from tomorrow, no, teacher. Just, just from Monday to Friday. No. Just from Monday to Friday? Yeah, but not apply so holidays. Oh, it doesn't apply holidays. Yeah. Oh, in your company, right? Uh huh. Yeah, in my, in my company, give us the the lunch from yeah, Monday to Friday. That is good. That is good. Yeah. Good benefit. Yes, teacher. Because you save a lot of money there. Imagine that now, if you buy lunch, it is uh the cheapest one three dollars, right? Two or two fifty or three dollars, but if if you want to eat, uh, no, I mean a different lunch. If you go um to it, for example, on hamburger or another kind of of lunch, so that will be more than five dollars. Yes, teacher. That is mm -hmm. good for my company. Yes, yes, that is good. Good benefit. Okay. Let me check again. Let me refresh this page. Okay, good. For the ones that are working on it. Okay, for the ones that have that are is still missing, uh, please try to do it tomorrow that you will have free. Teacher, uh, checking my 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 name. Uh, where do I have twenty and and seventy five? Where you which have model 20? source? Uh huh. Which model? Ah, no. Yeah, in the section four because we have completed ah, just one. Okay. I and 75, left... 75, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, it is the, the percentage. The... Ah, okay. So I, I only left the one point five in section one. Section one, yes. Mm -hmm. One one okay. homework. I already did the section three. Section three, okay, good. And we are missing the final, right? That we're going to do next week. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So after this class, we are missing just four classes of Friday, Monday, 
Tuesday and Wednesday. And then we're, we are done with this model. Okay. This is the... Mm -hmm. Because the model has 25 classes. This is the 21. So on Friday, 22. Monday, 23. Tuesday, 24. And Wednesday, 25. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> Good. Good. Uh, so... In case, well, I haven't received any notification, but, uh, but I assume that tomorrow is off, okay? But in case uh, you receive the message that we are going to have the class, so so be pending, okay? Okay. So see you, okay? Take care and have a good night. Thank you so much for night, being here, teacher. okay? Thank Bye. you, teacher. Bye. 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 Take care.